So here is my Walmart uh, Equip brand one person mosquito hammock. And I bought this at Walmart for $39. And, you know, I heard lots of mixed reviews about Walmart stuff. I figured, you know, it seems like they're maybe leaving this Ozark Trail brand. And Walmart just has a, you know, reputation of having just stuff you use like one or two times. And it's pretty much toast after that. So I was wondering, maybe with this Equip brand stuff, maybe they are, uh, I don't know, maybe they're trying to up the ante on their, their equipment a little bit. Let's see. This is the tag. It says, um, here's a picture of it. So it's a one-person mosquito hammock. Like I said, I just bought this in the sporting goods department at my local Walmart. No seam mesh bug net, 400 pound weight capacity. It weighs two and a half pounds, two carabiners with hanging kit. Breathable, fast drying. So that's the, the length there in inches. It's made of nylon uh, and polyester mesh net. So uh, it comes from equipoutdoors.com. Sold at Walmart. And I don't know if they're trying to replace the Ozark Trail brand or what with this all this equipped stuff, but you know it's from Walmart. My hopes are really low, but I figured, hey, I try it out. Is this a, is this a good hammock for for thirty nine dollars? Let's find out. So I'm gonna put this thing to the test here. So um, it has this little cinchable bag, which is nice. Um, let's see what all comes in here. Okay, so it looks like the bag is actually sewn right to the hammock, which is always nice when they're sewn together like that. You don't have to um, worry about losing the bag. So here's like the little tent poles come with the uh, the hammock part. This must go to the uh, the mosquito net. Maybe it's like a spacer bar to keep the mosquito net from collapsing down on top of you and allowing the mosquitoes just to bite you through the net. And so here's the uh, the tether cord. Maybe this is just for the um, the tent. This isn't for holding the actual hammock up. This is just for the tent part that keeps the mosquitoes away. So it's like 550 cord, but it's more like shoelace than it is 550 cord. If you're familiar with like military spec 550 cord or paracord, this is not military spec paracord. Like I said, it's more like like a boot shoelace or something like that. But it may work for the, for uh, mosquito net purposes. And then let's see if this looks like this is just the actual hammock in here now is the rest of it. Yeah. So I'm not going to pull all this out right now because we're actually going to take this and do some uh, do some stealth camping with it. We'll see what happens. So once I get ready and get to my site, I'm gonna set it up as if I just bought it at the store, not having any preparation or practice with it. We're just gonna set it up as if it's straight up out of the bag. All right, so I'm gonna cinch this back down. Go, go, go. Hey puppy, hey puppy, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hey puppy, hey puppy. It's okay, it's okay. Pretty sure that dog is fucking to follow me. Okay, I think it stayed back. I don't know.
Ooh, I'm still like shaking from that uh, those dogs back there. I don't know if you could see them or not. I was um, I had the camera rolling, but I realized after the fact that it was kind of facing me most of the time. But there was two pit bulls that came down. I guess the creek butts up to somebody's yard, and these two pit bulls came down and um, were right in the water, right on the edge of the water, and were barking at me. So I'm still looking over my shoulder to make sure they're not following me. Uh, but they did not look very happy at all that I was walking down the middle of the creek. Probably not used to that. Um, Hey guys, I just want to use this opportunity to say thank you for um, 5,000 subscribers. Uh, it's awesome. I never thought this channel would really gain that level of momentum and popularity. Even though it's still a relatively small channel, uh, 5,000 people subscribe to my channel. It's very humbling and uh, I feel kind of undeserving. So I just want to say thank you guys. I hope if you like these, if I deserve it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well. See you guys around. can't find much prettier than this, but this looks like my way up out of the creek. I'm going to try to find a spot to, uh, to go ahead and set up this hammock and spend the night. Please don't drop the camera. Oh god. So I found these two trees. I think these are a pretty good distance. I'm going to go ahead and pace them out now and see. What I've got. There's some old barbed wire right here, so I can't paste it all the way, but I think it's about 10 feet across. So it's probably a good distance. I'm gonna go ahead and get my, my hammock out and, um, and string it up between these two trees. So probably the, the cheapest thing about this hammock is the, the zipper. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just feels really flimsy and kind of, kind of loose in there. And it's probably going to be the first thing to break. Whenever I look at stuff like this, I'm always wondering, like, what's the first thing on this piece of gear that's going to break? I think it's going to be the zipper. Another reason why is because when you sit in the, the hammock, um, a lot of tension gets put right here on this, on this zipper. Um, and a lot of tension gets put right here on these things, uh, so there could be, you know, if you if you hung it wrong, and which I'm probably doing, but if you hung it wrong, uh, a lot of tension gets put on these straps right here, and I could I could see these easily getting ripped out of here. But other than that, we'll see how it works. I have very little faith in this hammock, so it, we'll see if it uh, holds me over for the night. The mesh is really really fine, so that's a bonus for it. I mean, it's, it's super, super fine. It definitely would keep the no out. Definitely keep mosquitoes out. So, you may be wondering, what do I have in my bag for the overnight? Um, I've got my old standard issue, military issue, uh, poncho liner blanket. I call it my magic blanket because it's uh, just enough to keep you warm, but not too warm in this 
humid heat. And then I've got a bottle of water. So I'm not going to be out too long, you know. I'll just eat breakfast when I go home in the morning. Let's see what I can uh, scrounge up around here too. There's all kinds of pecan trees and uh, wild blueberries and stuff out here. So I should be good. But let me take you on inside the hammock, show you inside. So here we go, I'm gonna get in this thing with you guys in my hand here. Let's see if it breaks. Oh. If this thing falls, it'd make for a really funny video. But I'm not a very experienced hammock person. I don't usually like sleeping in hammocks because I don't like, you know, I could be doing it wrong. Well, I just got a mosquito in here. I could be doing it wrong, but um, I don't know. I just, I just don't find them very comfortable and I don't like the breeze that flows under me, but I figure I'd give this a shot. And get this zipped up before more mosquitoes come in here. So, this is my view for now. Let me turn you around and show you the other view. So here's what it looks like inside the $39 Walmart hammock, the mosquito hammock. So pretty good clearance here about, I don't know, touching it with my fingertip up here, the mesh, lots of clearance. So they could actually, you could actually adjust that based on how high you put the straps on the tree. Um, you can go around a little bit lower and bring this down if you want, but I don't see why you would. There's plenty of clearance up here. Um, gosh, probably two and a half feet above my head, two, two and a half feet above my head. It's the actual net. The only thing you got to worry about is mosquitoes biting through this, this stuff here. You know, mosquitoes will bite through that if they, um, if they're big enough. So that's the only other thing you got to worry about. There are zippers on both sides, which is a nice feature. So these zippers over here. So that's a nice feature. Um, it goes all the way down. Another complaint I have about this hammock though is I wish they made it in something more like olive drab color, something a little bit more camouflage. Because, you know, when you're out camping and maybe camping in somewhere you're not sure you're supposed to be, uh, that would really help out a lot. So, or if you're just out hunting and, you know, you just want to keep low visibility and you're sleeping in a hammock before you go out for your hunt, that would be pretty awesome. But it's all good. I'm pretty, uh, pretty wooded out here, so should be fine. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get um get a little my bearing, walk around a little bit, see if I can find some wild blueberries, drink some water, and just explore a little bit. And we'll see you guys later in the morning. Mosquitoes were definitely uh, mosquitoes were definitely thick as thieves last night. Um, I think uh, the mesh the mesh definitely helped um, keep them off of my face and my arms and stuff. Um, unfortunately, at some point, I did feel I don't know if it was a mosquito biting my back through the bottom of this, but I just took this my poncho liner and just wrapped it around my back and kind of made myself like a little human taco. It seemed to work okay. But um, it started kind of drizzling in the middle of the night I think too and you know I should have thought to bring like a tarp or a poncho or something to throw over this because it lets just dew and stuff through too if there's dew dripping out of the trees like there is right now. But beautiful spot. The hammock held up fine. Um, not the best night's sleep, but I mean, if you need something quick, I guess. It definitely kept mosquitoes out. I gotta give it credit. Oh. I gotta wait for this thing to dry off before I pack it up. All the dudes all over it. 39 bucks, though. 
I mean, the zipper sucks, but you get what you pay for. I'm gonna pack up and get out of here in a little bit. Well, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, just comment down below, say yay or nay. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I would appreciate it. But take care, guys. Thanks for watching.